All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Slice of Shonen podcast. I am your host on the boat, Sailor. And this feels like the first time in a long ass time where we actually have a full set, like a full week of chapters to talk about. So we're going to have a whole lot to talk about, especially this week, because a lot of stuff went down in all of these chapters, but it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Of course, I'm not by myself. I have my ensemble of excellence with me to help me break this all down. So let me introduce them all. I have the Taco. I have the Jigga, a.k.a. Adam, whose channel link is in the description. Go subscribe to him. Don't piss me off. Then there's me. Hey, how's it going? Then there's Silver. And then there's Zenith Annie Manga, who's also has a channel. Link in the description. Go subscribe to him as well. He just hit 15K. Everybody applaud Zenith. Great job. I don't know if my mic can pick up my my clapping, but (laughs) great job. We're so proud of you, brother. Hey, get him to 20K now, pussy. Uh, (laughs) But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I I had something else I was going to say, but I forget. More people are flowing on through. Thank you so, so much for joining us here. If you want to support the show, as always, you can donate. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just stay here, listen in, because time is money. We appreciate you spending it with us. Let me say hello to the people in chat. Oh, well, I keep forgetting there are these like emotes that you can use so every time you use one taco it trips me the fuck out (laughs) uh the thumbnail's hilarious thank you it thumbnail ruined my life it took me forever to make god damn (laughs) but i'm happy it paid off uh tokoyami the goat absolutely oh my gosh (laughs) more and more emotes oh my gosh freaking me the fuck out uh anyway guys is there anything you want to say before we jump into chapters this week no, let's get right into it, honestly. Yeah. All right. So first up on the chopping block is, of course, Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 214. Fellas, how are we feeling about this one? Four-year-old okay. spotted. Pitbull, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it, this chapter was definitely, it's definitely, it got me off guard at first. Because, like, I was not expecting Yuji to be this strong still after her losing in Sakuna's Edge. Like... Hey, this man had literally went full, full fucking Hulk on his, his ass. Like, seriously. Hey, where did all this, this strength come from? I'm not going to lie. Soon. Sailor, I have to apologize. Hey. To you and all the fans watching. I didn't Yo. think Yuji had it in him. Bro, it's I okay. Uh, Bro, like, I don't think I, I genuinely had it in him. <laughs> I genuinely, like, I was like, oh, like, he's, like, he's done for. Yeah. Like, he, mm-hmm. like he's... Like I thought, I thought it was gonna be a whole thing where it's like he got knocked out, he's gonna wake up and he's like, "Oh, I have to get stronger," you know, like shonen trope. Like, oh, yeah. like, no, like, like he's still obviously, thing. yeah, go he's ahead. stronger. Like he just is strong. Absolutely, yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. like he, not even just like pure strength, he's doing some wild shit. If, if you'll notice during the whole um, like part where he's just getting shredded. The first thing he loses is the top of his ear. It's completely healed in the last panel, in the last page. I didn't even realize that. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, crap, right. sir. Oh, my God. Listen, man. That's my fucking MC right there. Uh, man, we were down in the trenches for a little bit. You know, we wondered, man, how are we going to recover? But my goat came back and let it be known. Listen, man, there are a lot of characters. Uh, Many men lay awake at night wondering, man, how can I get to where he is? How can I do what he does? What do I have to do to be that godly? And the unfortunate truth is you can't. And it's not because you're not strong enough. It's not because you're not smart enough. It's not because you're not fast enough. It's not because you're not good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the most demoralizing thing is that you're just you. He's him. No, like, he's he's him. <laughs> like, he's like, like, like what, what, what you want me to say? Like, I don't know. Man, he, he, he just does it. He just does it. I, I can't explain these things. People ask me, how does he do it? I don't know. <laughs> you expect me to have a formula? This man doesn't follow anything. He's just him. I d- 
This is this is an amazing now, day, ladies and gentlemen. It's fantastic. Yeah, I, I mean, I and we're gonna keep on. Oh, sorry, Dylan. And if we're gonna keep keep on the subject of people having dogs in them, and we can see that Mega Man's still barking, like he ain't given up this fight mm. just yet. Not yet. Yeah. And that was the greatest. Like that was the good part to see this. Yeah, the end of this chapter. For sure. Where, like, yeah. Hey, so it's like just rolling over. It's a combination. Yuji's stronger and Megumi's weakening Sukuna. Yes. So it's mm -hmm. like, it's both. It, it, that keeps it a little balanced because it would be wild if Yuji was <laughs> just going evenly with 15 fingers of Sukuna. That, that'd be stupid, honestly. <laughs> honestly, um, it would be kind of... <sighs> Cause I don't know how I'd feel about. I mean, this is purely hypothetical because this isn't what's yeah, happening. Right. But just based off of like what Sukuna was saying about like, man, that Ken Jaku sure is twisted. So Kenny has something to do with this. Well, mm -hmm. uh, this we don't know. That's of course. So weird is because we know why he's him. It's because I get it. The boy is from that time. What does that mean? Right. <laughs> what does that? What mean? do you mean by that? Yeah. Is it? Like, because I know his ass isn't from, like, the Heian era where fucking everyone in porn is from nowadays. <laughs> uh, we saw him as, like, a little baby being like, with a uh, fucking Mama Kenjaku. <laughs> <laughs> Put that Mama Heian so DNA like, in him or something. I don't fucking know. Like, what the fuck? I mean, yeah. basically the idea was that that Kenny was basically raising up Yuji to be like this perfect vessel over Sukuna well, in a way. So like, there's obviously got to be something going on in him. It's, yeah, and, like, right. Maybe... No, like I get that. I mean, like from that time, that wording is so weird. Absolutely. Um, because I it's almost uh because Zenith brought it up earlier. I I dare say. Just the way Yuji is just like going fucking crazy right now, it's almost like Sukuna was holding him back partially. <laughs> like, <laughs> how the fuck? Really? Like, this, yeah, dude, like, we've never seen Yuji jump so hard that the yeah. ground beneath him crumble. <laughs> like, and Sukuna at 15 fingers is like, what the fuck? Like, obviously, like, he's not, oh, shit. <laughs> he's not like sweating or anything, but he's like, where the fuck did this come from? What is this? Like, he's wondering what's going on, like, how he has this much strength. Where did it come from? It's, it's almost like he got, he was nerfed, which is insane to think about. Um, but I'm, I'm really interested as to how this plays back to kenny and what exactly he has planned because uh someone pointed it out on twitter uh somebody i follow they were saying like do you understand how fucked up yuji's backstory has to be for someone like sukuna who's confirmed to eat people to say that yeah. man kenjaku sure is fucked up what <laughs> like what yeah. What? <laughs> I fucked your mom shit lips. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's insane when you really look at it from there. Um I guess I to sidebar real quick, or I guess we can just go here or sit around and talk about this for a bit. Either or. Um <laughs> Akutami just letting Hana get her shit bit is the yeah. most Akutami <laughs> thing ever. I was just like, I don't know why I wasn't expecting this now that I think about it. Cause I was like, oh, you know, we're on break cliffhanger. She's obviously going to break out. No, no. <laughs> like even the way she got this bitch empty, yeet, tossed off the building and just off panel, just splat. Just the most nonchalant <laughs> thing ever. It's like, why did I expect anything less, man? God damn. <laughs> I mean, the question though is, is she really dead? Because like we all thought Yuji was dead, and but it's like, like we can't say shit with her. Like I mean, maybe the angel did something to save her at the last minute. Um, I, mean, I think she's looking good for sure, but yeah, I think she's going to be okay simply because we have to open up the uh, back end of the prison realm. But uh, I mean, what does okay entail? Because she like lost her her whole shoulder, her arm. It sounded like she, you know, sound effects, splat, she hit the floor. So I think yeah. she survived, but I don't think she's going to be in the best state right now. She's not going to get up. Silver, like, she used her back to break her fall. 
That's awesome. <laughs> um, I like how. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yuji, because <laughs> you know you see Yuji the very beginning of the chapter, of course, and even I was just like, "How the hell are you still alive, boy?" But more importantly, mm -hmm. like you know, of course, he gets punched way earlier through like miles nearly like just an entire building and a half over and he managed to get over he managed to get up and run all the way back to sakuna mm -hmm. by the time that hana got bitten like jesus he had to have run stupid dumb fast to do that yeah exactly that was another thing that i was gonna bring up thank you for doing that because like just the fact that yuji is able to like <laughs> Oh my god, that panel was so cool where he like pops his head out of the rubble and Sukuna's like, oh, come on, bro, you still here? Fucking get out of here. <laughs> I loved that, man. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because we saw something similar, but not nearly as big a scale when uh, Mahito unlocked Black Flash and he hit yeah. Yuji so far he like sent him flying to the other end of the the train station he bounced. <laughs> yeah he literally the, like, basketball bounced like cartoonishly just bounced off the walls <laughs> so like this is like this is another example of just him being insane and why i think sukuna like at least partially nerfed this dude cuz just like he got sent flying like city blocks away <laughs> and in the span because what happened with uh angel it's not like that took like an hour so like that was right after he got sent flying yuji yeah. got up recovered enough to run over there got to the top of the building he initially got punched through and then jumped back up to sukuna like dude's insane man he <laughs> he's insane oh my god it's also, my guy right my here, favorite though. part about like this whole thing these past like three four chapters all started from whoever the hell is pretending to be megami's sister nobody cares right now anymore because <laughs> you get all this shit right now remember i just said like oh i'm gonna be waiting to fight sukuna bro who cares now like it doesn't <laughs> matter <laughs> Bro, nah, she's gonna pull a Yui next chapter and then she's gonna get involved or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> nah, but it, it's gonna be interesting to see because, I mean, like, obviously Sukuna is gonna get away from here and he's gonna have to. Well, I don't even know anymore. Obviously, obviously not. Um, just with everything that's going on with Yuji and Megumi weakening him partially. Um,. Yeah, it's it's hard to predict what the fuck is going to happen now. I imagine next chapter is mainly going to focus on, or again, I, I don't know anymore, but my bet is uh, I'm thinking it's going to focus on how exactly Yuji is stronger, or at the very least, like, Sukuna's hypothesis as to what's going on, because it seems like he has some idea of what's happening. So mm -hmm. maybe it's that, or we get to see a little bit of Megumi inside of the innate domain with Sukuna this time around. That'll be interesting. I Maybe I'm just looking a bit too deep into this because, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Um, <laughs> the, the, the the way the chapter ends feels like a uh, like an odd parallel to when Sukuna first showed up in the series, when he, like, very first showed up when he like took over yuji's body and stuff it's that and this happened nearly in the exact same order where uh he takes over teenager's body we'll ignore that last part uh destroys the biggest <laughs> threat there uh uh someone challenges him and he thinks this this is no problem i got this he uses something and he's like oh wait no that's not working and he specifically says like, oh wait, it's probably this. Oh wait, no, it's not that. Then he gets punched, then the time limit stops. That's the exact same thing that happened when he fought Gojo the very first time. Yeah. In that order too. Cause he was like, oh, is he fast? No, it's just that I can't touch him. So in this case it's like, is his body tough? No, it's just something else. Well, he's, he's just healing. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Like, uh, because even in like page three, you see just a hole in the back of his uniform. Like, Nothing he got at the punched front. through. Yeah. No. That's also, like, the same design he had in Shibuya. <laughs> Even, like, specifically the left The arm sleeve, yeah. Off. Exactly. Yeah, like, it's fucking I great. That specifically. <laughs> it's fucking awesome, bro. It's sick. Um, yeah, no. Actually, while we're on that page, I just wanted to take a moment just to look at that uh, page three here. Like, I mean, it was just slowly zooming up to his face, and it's just like, 
like that cold fucking and fury on his face mm-hmm. he's like, like that is some of the coldest shit i've seen in a little while he's him what can i say fucking um i was i was gonna say oh oh yeah just going back i loved it, it wasn't a callback but I, it, I just imagined it happening in my head again where like yuji is walking through like him getting cut he's still running at sukuna all I could imagine was back when they were fighting uh, Esso and Kechizu, and Nobara was like, if it's just pain, Itadori Yuji will not stop. And I got so yeah. hyped. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this is so cool, man. It's so fucking sick. Uh, I love it. I love it. It's Yuji's really stronger crazy because he's him. Absolutely sleeping danger. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Taka. This chapter kind of changed my outlook on the like final battles in the of the series because i was i was always under the impression that i was like oh sukuna is so fucking unbelievably powerful and to be fair he's not full strength here and he's being there by megumi yeah um that it was gonna be like a big group effort to take him down but if yuji keeps getting stronger like i still think we'll get multiple like i still think the gojo sukuna like that has to happen yes. like i think that's guaranteed. But I really do think it's just going to be Yuji at the end who takes him down. Because it's like, damn, I was not expecting this from Yuji. I don't there's... know why I wasn't. I probably should have been. <laughs> no, no, I don't think anyone. I, I was about to say, I don't think. think like, yeah, like, yeah I don't think you should you, beat bro. yourself like, up about it. <laughs> Yuji is really, I don't know. He's always been like, he's strong and he's talented, but he's also weirdly underpowered to, in comparison to so many other characters in the series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, right. but to see him like do stuff like this, it's like, oh wait, this ceiling's really high. I kind of like I knew that, but I like forgot. <laughs> I guess like yeah, physical strength has always been coming on. Even because I thought about this, because you know my friend also wants to be like, well, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> Assuming he's not, you know, dead and everything. <laughs> I thought like, okay know what can he do because he doesn't have sakuna anymore but it's like that doesn't actually matter because then i recalled about the hagaruma fight you know the lawyer guy and everything yuji doesn't have any cursed energy in that whole fight but he's still able to fight this guy and he even comments like this kid has like just stupid dumb mad strength not even having cursed energy i could just lose here if he tries actually and you see that he has nothing not a drip of cursed energy He's doing better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really like that Yuji doesn't have like a curse technique. They just fights. He just beats people up. <laughs> he just punches. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say he's like Giannis running dunk man, but he's just punching kick man. He's awesome. This is my guy right here. Um, because uh, I was thinking about what was going on, and I don't think this is it at all. But I just remember him like. Megumi commenting at the start of the series like oh man like Yuji's power and stuff is it's insane he could like he's he look he says something about like he's on par with Maki or like he's he's better yes. than Maki so I was like huh like is it not the same as Maki's but like some sort of uh fucking what's it called um heavenly restriction, heavenly restriction? yeah something like that I don't know. <laughs> like I I genuinely don't know. But uh I, I like uh I guess that's it's what brought up like is. again, like even compared to Maki when uh it's uh, his tag team fight with uh in the bar against uh the Karsum siblings and stuff. Yeah. Uh it's not in the anime because uh they basically make it an AMV. I'm not complaining though. It's fucking uh, sick. <laughs> it's sick though. <laughs> uh in the manga you get like the whole narration instead. And it more or less says, like, Yuji Itadori has, like, in terms of physical prowess, has more potential than Maki. Than Maki. And it just straight yeah. up says that. Yeah. Mm. And it specifically says potential. Like, yeah. not her current strength. And Maki's potential is Toji. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. stupid dumb high. Yeah, yeah. right? This... That's pretty ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I mean, as crazy as it is, we got to remember here, like, I mean, and even if he has the potential to be physically stronger... Or, I mean, if he can't find a way to bolster up his cursed energy, he'll come up with some kind of technique. 
Oh. Like, it's still not going to change yeah. much against someone like Sakuna. Like, he's got to come up with something and to deal with that. My prediction has uh, always been that Yuji is going to be the one to master Black Flash. Because nobody yeah. in history has been able to do that. And there was the, uh, the closest we saw was the end of Shibuya, where it was like uh yuji cannot summon black flash at will but he's fighting so good in this battle you'd think he could so i'm thinking that that's probably what's going to be a thing i mean of course there's always the bit about gojo saying that sukuna's curse technique will uh sort of engrave yuji, itself on yeah. yuji so that could also be a thing as well uh yuji Fair. could also learn the... reverse curse technique i'm sorry go ahead well, that's literally you were about to say what I was about to say, so you can go ahead and keep saying it. <laughs> well, oh, no, I like, was... If, if he, like, yeah, he could use a curse technique, that would be nice, but, like, if his healing is insane and he can just use Black Flash on every single hit... He's cracked. Like, pair that with his strength and his durability, yeah, he's just fucking people up. Like, it's, yeah. he doesn't really it's, need It's literally yeah, a critical hit every punch. Yeah. Akutami's gonna have to pick and choose what he gives him, because he can't give him all of that. <laughs> that's yeah, true. If he, if he has a curse technique that's Tsukuna's, like, if that's the theory, he has Tsukuna's curse technique, insane healing, insane, he can use Black Flash every single attack. It's like, I guess he is the main character, like he's him. Yes, sir. But it's also like that's pretty insane. Like, I, mean, no, I just think that would go against the style too. I, you know what? Yeah, to be, that's true. To be fair, it is uh, it is Jutsu Kaisen. It is inspired heavily by Bleach, and uh, Kubo oh, just no. gave him everything. Bro, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hey, slow down a bit. You like, know what? Really I know think that's part. a good idea. Uh, they should give him you everything. Would. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I am being slandered. I am once again being attacked for presenting new ideas. Uh, yes. I think that they should give him everything. They should give him all of the curse techniques and just make him the strongest wow. by default. I think that would be pretty cool, actually. I think, honestly, that's really good writing. Like, it's it's been built up for a while, guys. Like, gotta you know, think about I it. I cannot agree with that. What? Uh, what? Uh, what do you? I cannot agree with that, bro. It's okay. We'll we'll get you the vision. It's cool. Yeah, Gojo <laughs> dies and Yuji gets the six eyes. That's a great idea. That's a great uh, idea. Uh, that I'm with I'm dad. Right fucking here, dude. I'm... <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm with dad. You know yeah. what, Sailor? You what? know I agree. If this series became bad, that would be pretty sick. What? Right. <laughs> what? That'd be bro. really cool. Bro, what are you? It's okay, you know. We'll 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 talk about it again. You know, think it over. It's cool. You know, you guys can come on over to the winning team whenever you want to. Uh, let me look through some of these comments. Uh, if my mouse wants to move, God damn. Okay, sorry. Uh, more emojis. <laughs> Thank you guys for sending more of these. These are funny to look at. Uh, Yuji unlocked his curse technique, plot armor. <laughs> it's my fucking guy right there. Yuji proved why he's the MC. Yes, sir. What's up, boys? And slightly older individual. Silver, he's talking to you. Kogane, <laughs> don't give him points so we don't know. Or didn't give him points so we don't know. Yeah, that's true. So Angel is probably fine. I'm I'm imagining you're referring to Angel. Well, uh, her getting fine, but uh, he's alive, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, so so can, uh, a standard. I think it's so funny because, like, in the previous chapter, when we see Sugina, like, bite her... I thought that was like imagery, but no, his head just did that. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, <laughs> Man's bro, I mean curse. that's pretty normal, bro. I look like that sometimes too. <laughs> <laughs> bro, when I get a little hungry, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, <laughs> you're, not, you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> that's me at four a.m. and my, looking at my fridge, the last snack pack in the fridge right there. That's me. Um, let me see. Sukuna ripped off a wing too. Yeah, he did. Uh, manga logic: No one is dead until we see a body. Absolutely. When the game started out, though, he uh, he ran through like four buildings. Uh, oh yeah, he did, huh? 
Another reason why he's him. Uh, paneling was top tier this chapter. Absolutely agree. Oh, Sukuna yeah. better watch okay. himself or Miwa may need to step in. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's go. Like we boys. said. Hey, I can't hear you talk over me saying yes. Like Actually, we you know said. Go ahead. Wrong pretty frequently. Miwa might just be a god the next time we see her. Bro, you know, listen. Yeah, I want this series to be bad now. Y'all convinced me. Listen, earlier. bro. Listen, like what I series mentioned. This has been bad. I don't know what, what you're talking the about. What the hell? Like I mentioned before, bro, there is only one counter to the 10 shadows technique. And that is the new shadow style, baby. Absolutely. Can I get a hell yeah in chat? Absolutely. Um, foreshadowing, no bar is return. Bro, I. I I saw it in a dream. Who? It came to me. What? What do you mean who? You know who. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I don't even know who that is. Expecting Gay Gay to do look. something nice to Yuji would be an outrageous prediction. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Look, bro, we got our main trio. No Nobara's coming back. Because it's like we have, you know, Yuji, mm -hmm. Megumi, Yuta. The whole group's there. <laughs> Sorry, my copium just is too massive to like just hear what you just said. <laughs> At this point, yeah. <laughs> At this point, the main group is just Yuji, Megumi, and Ma. Uh, not Megumi, Yuji, Yuta, and Maki, because Megumi got body jacked. <laughs> like, bro, what's Maki even doing? Everything, bro. She's For running through the six with her woes. Hold on. Don't slander my tribal chief. Bro, she came running at this whole thing, and then it hasn't been seen since. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over this volume cover I'm looking at. This looks really good. Um... <laughs> 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 nah, she's going to do her thing, bro. Just you wait and see. She's going to cook. Uh, Yuji got that dog in him? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. God damn. Megumi says, Yuji, in terms of physical condition, no cursed energy can solo both Tokyo and Kyoto schools. Um, oh, that was when he was saying if it was a battle between, uh, fucking Toto and Yuji in just physical strength, Yuji would win. Yeah, you're right. Um, Gojo dies, gets the six eyes. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Sailor using his old man wisdom to see the vision. Okay, well, you didn't have to say, like, half the sentence. <laughs> like, you, you, you could have just said he has the vision. God damn, why you have to cook me like that? Uh, what I want to know is what Kenny did for Sukuna for all people to think he's twisted. Exactly. Yeah, me too, man. We were just talking about that earlier. Um, like, what do you have to do for an actual freaking cannibal to think you're creepy? Miwa can't fight Sukuna. She's busy handling Kenjaku. Mm, I don't know, man. Like I said, the counter to the, the 10 shadows technique. I think the buildup is there, honestly. I think Akutami did a great both. job. Yeah, he did a great job building that fight up. So I think we'll see that in and, the I mean, very near future. Think about it. It was technically foreshadowed. She did step up to Kenjaku before. Mm. You know what, Jiga? I'll give you this. He did draw her in a panel one time. <laughs> that was pretty I know, right? <laughs> It was thick. Like, it, that was clearly set up for something. Like, otherwise, you yeah. wouldn't have did that. You wouldn't have done yeah, it. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's some real shit to me. Yeah. And, uh. See, this is how we can solve world peace. Right. Just agree with what I say. <laughs> right, bro. Miwa was looking for money for her family. Uh, Megumi belongs to one of the most rich and famous families in the Jujutsu Kaisen him? world. Uh, yeah, she gonna hit a lick, bro. She gonna get it. Uh, she, she gonna well, take it. That would be his... good. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna happen though. So like, I think that'll be really good. Why are you guys silent? You guys agree? Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes. <laughs> well, I agree <laughs> oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, is there anything you guys want to say before, or anything else you want to say about this chapter before we move on to the next one? Hmm. Um, let's see. I got one. Yeah, Yuji's him. So. He's my protagonist. I love him. Oh my gosh. Our God is an awesome God. Anyway, you guys have anything else? <laughs> I, I, no, I think we I covered think all bases said, here. Yeah, I think I said everything I wanted to say. It's a fucking sick-ass chapter. Hell yeah. I'm good. so excited for the next one, man. All right. Moving on, though, we have My Hero Academia Chapter 381. Fellas, how are we feeling about this? Actually, no, wait. Taco, how do you feel about this one? I know this is a chapter you really enjoyed. Bro, I... Here's the thing, Sailor. I could do I could do the whole thing where I was like, oh, I used to pray for times like these. <laughs> I, I I wanted to see this. Bro, I knew it would happen. Mm. I I knew this was coming. Mm. Cause like Tokoyami, he's 
fucking sick. Like <laughs> the moment when he fucked up Reed Destro. Okay, to be fair, Reed Destro didn't have legs, but moment when he <laughs> no, he fucked, fucked him up. <laughs> Cook, go ahead, Cook. I knew, like, oh wait, Tokuyami's like actually doing stuff. Like yeah. from now until the end of the series, like I knew when he did that, I was like, oh, he can't be on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. He's got to do something cool, and like. Dude, I was so fucking excited, especially when he was like, wait, what does he say? That muddy, dismal darkness you brought about. It was so much better in the scans because he says I agree. that darkness what was it? tasted like puddle water. It, 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 it tasted yeah. like ditch water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It was so and cool, like, too, in the unofficials where he was saying, like, no one crowned you the king of the night or something like that. Like, yeah, you oh, did my God. Darkness. Yeah, it's so oh, fucking dude. sick. It's so Revelry good. In the dark. Yeah. It's over the the panel of him and Dark Shadow where they're like in the bed together as kids. Like, God, dude, that's so fucking good. It is so um, cool. You do you think he felt it? You think he felt that punch at the end? <laughs> he, he, <laughs> oh, absolutely. He, he, like, oh, I think he did. Yeah. Cause they, I, I they were think this, sorry, good. Yeah. No, no, I just I do think this is gonna be like I don't think it's gonna fuck him up. I think it's gonna be like a meaningful hit. Like it's mm -hmm. gonna matter. What do you think about the second punch that that's gonna come in immediately after? You know what? That is fair. I didn't consider that. <laughs> that you know, he has two hands. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's this fair. This is about to get order ordered into oblivion. I respect it. Yeah, pack him up. So, that fraud. Tokuyami Dark Shadow Gatling. Yeah, it's funny because Tokoyami is a pretty popular character. I think I think a lot of people like yeah, because he's my favorite character. <laughs> yeah, but I've always had like a huge soft spot for Tokoyami. I don't know what it is exactly. I mean, obviously, it's like he's a cool character. He has funny moments, good interactions, cool power, cool design. He is just great, actually. Now that I think about it, <laughs> literally everything you said is the reason why. But um, he's not that popular either like i feel like when most people talk about characters they like you don't see him that often yeah. like he's yeah. not super super popular but i've always really liked tokoyami he's always been one of my favorites ever since the beginning mm -hmm. and clearly horikoshi likes him too because tokoyami consistently gets stuff to do he in virtually every arc like any arc that includes class 1a he always gets like cool stuff yeah tokoyami like... is like one of his favorites he's mm -hmm. just straight up said that before be. Yeah, because, like, the little, like, uh, uh, like, profiles that, like, he'll draw for, like, the characters, like, just tiny little mm -hmm. bits of, like, their likes, their birthdays. He just should have says, like, he's just the fucking coolest. <laughs> like, he's just <laughs> one of his favorites. That's why he gets quite a bit. Hell yeah, man. As he should, because, uh, yeah, I he's mean, fucking sick. We can stir up some controversy here. We can go at it, but I think he's cooler than Uraraka. Like, I think he gets cooler moments in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah, like, well, and she's the I main mean, fucking heroine. Like, mm, she doesn't get a whole lot. Of being there is there being the main heroine historically has not been a precedent for getting cool moments. All the I time. think the, the only person, true. the only person like uh, main heroine that I can think of off top of my head that is like, damn, she is like consistently cool is Noelle. That's yeah. about it, though. Yeah, yeah. that's right. what I was thinking. I mean, I would also say Kagura really from Gitama, but then again, I'd be the only person who knows that since I'm the only cultured I mean, one I'll, here, so. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'll yeah, take your word I, for it. I, I, I believe you still punch people before, so like, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll accept but yeah, okay. that. Story. But yeah, back on NMHA. Like, I mean, I feel like we also have to address like the, like, just like the types of cool moments we get. Like, I mean, because both characters have gotten cool moments, but like, like I mean, for her Uraka, uh, her character. Her character moments have always been in more or in line with well her goals like you know who's gonna help the heroes like I mean like that whole thing back at at UA when she he was trying to help of Deku who versus like Tokoyami who's gonna get more cool moments in terms of you know like combat scenes and such so like I mean the nature well, of those moments are very different. That's not even really true because Tokoyami gets a lot of like emotional heartfelt moments too with Hawks because he yeah. like. That's the entire scene when he like found Hawks in the first war. Like that's really good with Dobby and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Tokoyami just gets good scenes consistent. Not even action scenes. It's just he's just For a sure. really good yeah. character. 
What about Rukia? Oh yeah, I'd add Rukia to the list. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. About her. yeah Rukia, cool. Rukia, Rukia is really cool. I keep forgetting she's like you know. The I don't goat, know. People yeah. always argue about who's the main heroine of Bleach. I think like, it's definitely you know, Rukia. <laughs> I, I don't I, yeah. think it's a competition, actually. <laughs> no, that's completely fair. It's yeah. just, I, I just constantly see arguments about it. That, yeah, that makes sense. What were you going to say, I Jake? Like, um, I like when the chapter dropped and uh, Taku said, like, bro, it's him. He's my hero or whatever. And then I asked, did they do it? Did they my hero? But they didn't. Obviously, they didn't specifically say it's like, oh, it has to do with Tokuyami. And then two people at the same time said, absolutely. It was like, well, obviously, I have to read. And then I read it. I was just like, well, this is probably just the best thing ever. Because <laughs> it's my favorite character doing shit. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's him, and he's packing up all for one. That's such a uh, wonderful combo. I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, storytelling be damned. If if he if all for one just died from that attack, I would be so hyped. I would be so <laughs> would happy. Be like, oh my god! Holy I don't oh go my that god! Far. <laughs> I'd start I twerking. I'd uh, no, amazing. I don't even care anymore. Amazing. I mean, I like. I want to at least see the man shaking. Like, I mean. Yeah, at the very least, I want to see that. Like, I don't think his, any of his attacks is going to pack him up. I want to see his, him it, fucking dead. Up, but, like... Okay, Bro. well, I mean, I do, too. But, like, I don't think this is going to be the attack that does it. I want to see him yeah, on gonna the fine. ground. He's going to be all crinkled and crunched up, and he's going to pop out. He's going to spring out of the ground like a, a cartoon accordion. Just slowly <laughs> creak out. It'll be fucking sweet, bro. I, I, I can't wait for that. I think that's something only Luffy could do. Bro, it's okay. We can like pass the baton over to MHA for a bit if that means all for one's downfall. I'm for it. Dude. Bro, Tokoyami is so powerful. Yes. Oh, yeah. very, it's, it's, very. It's yes, his power. His power is so cool and interesting because like he he has to have like the perfect conditions to set it up. But like once it's set up, god damn, can he? Dude, eat he it hard? just high rolled here. He won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say. I like how uh, it, it like all for one is almost like forward. Uh, he's almost forecasting who's going to do something big next. Because the last chapter, I think he was saying like the winds of change or something are on my side. And then Inasa shows up. Uh, and mm. now you have this one. He's talking about my golden dark era. Like y'all couldn't fuck with me. Y'all don't know about me and my dark era. Y I'm I'm darkness, motherfucker. You don't know nothing about that. And then Tokoyami pops off. Like it's so cool, man. Like I I really like mm -hmm. it. Um, it, it's very oh, simple, I love but it's so hype. Yeah, with Anasa, where he's like, you guys don't know anything about my era, yada yada. And he's like, bro, we learned about that shit in history class. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. Man, it's bro, such that's a, high school shit. Yeah, it's such a bratty answer, but it's such a good, like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> yeah. like where it's like, bro, like, you're not hey, all that, bro, chill. Overwood we really know. is the ultimate boomer. Yeah, yeah, he's the old man yelling at the cloud. Like, he's... You know, <laughs> like, bro, we're tired of it. I'm he telling you, we need more Cammy interactions with him, man. We need it. We, we need more. I need Boomer all for one to interact with the, the these new founded kids. I need it. It'll be cool. Hey, um, we got one panel of um, Dobby. That's kind of cool. Dude, I can right. barely I recognize him. Panel. That nigga he's is melted. Dead. He's dead. Yeah, like Dobby's not surviving. That's like he's full <laughs> that, flow. Just that's not Dobby. That's just a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, bro. God damn. I I'm surprised he's... <laughs> it's cool, yeah, but... Whew, that that nigga is cooked literally. Bro, Golly. let him cook. I I am, I am. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not gonna stop him. Yeah, I, my ass ain't gonna stop him. What the hell? Um, I cannot wait. Just bringing that up again. I can't wait for <laughs> it to be the case where Endeavor hits Dobby. Uh, Twitter's gonna be fun that week. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun time. That's gonna be a fun time. I'm genuinely looking forward to that. Um. But yeah, man, this is a really good chapter. I loved this. Seeing Tokoyami pop off was really sweet. Um, seeing, like, all for one thing, like, man, I keep breaking these people and they keep coming back. What the fuck? I feel like this is a, a very good representation of, like, the themes of this arc and the series as a whole. Because, uh, you know, we, we've had some moments in the past that have been very good thematically, but I wasn't really, like, I was kind of iffy on. 
But this, like lately, MHA has been kind of firing on all cylinders. I'm, I'm loving it, man. We truly are back. This is, this is some great shit, man. Horikoshi is oh, back. Yeah. He got rid of that fraud who was writing MHA. It's great. I, I love this shit, man. I was about to make a sailor old joke, but when you called AFO a boomer, but I, shut up, shut up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let uh, it slide. Let it slide. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jigga. I saw the panel with like, uh, you know, where it's like, it's just all black and you see the eyes. Genuinely, I thought that was Kurigiri, like just popping in. It was just like, Ooh. oh, he's going to teleport yeah, no, I thought or that whatever. too at first. Like, yeah. Okay. And then you look down, it's just like, oh. It's just the best character ever. Okay, good to know. <laughs> that means it's even better. Thank you. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. Um, yeah. AFO is Sailor Spirit Animal. Why the fuck would you say that? Why Why you got to say that to me? That's just a straight up insult. Like, no matter yeah. how you Why the fuck would you say that to me? Why the fuck would you say that to me? I'm flying out to fight you right now, actually. You couldn't have gave me someone cool. Hold on a sec. I really like the they were like oh like they chose Sokiyami to fight all for one because he can't steal his quirk by touching dark shadow mm -hmm. yeah that's, that's really, really cool it's very it's smart a good way to make yeah. him relevant yeah mm -hmm. where do you guys think and uh, they had a lot of faith in Tokoyami. <laughs> oh my god i mean bro he's him like, <laughs> i mean he's, he's i mean think about that he's literally in this battle between the top two heroes the number endeavor and hawks against all for one Tokoyami was their ace in the hole. Yes, yeah. Sir. That's Think fucking insane. That. That yeah. Wild. <laughs> That's Here's fucking actually sick. something that's sick too, because it's not just he can't take him his quirk by touching him, by touching Dark Shadow. He's using specifically like Black Abyssal Body. That's like when he hovers himself with Dark Shadow like armor. He's wearing Dark Shadow right now, so he can't be touched. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. God, he's so cool. Yeah, and that's the thing is like, well, Tokoyami, this this does it, you know, takes a toll on him to do this stuff. But like, he's gonna go for a while. Like, this isn't one hit. He's yeah, gonna no. keep fighting. Like, yeah. Like Un until the conditions are not met any longer, then he won't be as strong. But until they are, <laughs> just keep doing this. Yeah, I, man. I definitely think this is very similar to the Gigantomachia situation in the first war, where it's like, he, all for one's eventually gonna join the main fight. Like, he's going to get there, but they aren't gonna be completely unsuccessful. Like, they are going to hold him off for as long as possible, and they're going to get some kind of victory here. I can agree on that, absolutely. Um, yeah. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, were you gonna say something, Silver? No, no, I was just agreeing with you guys. Oh, okay, it's, my bad, yeah. It's um, it's always been the case, but I think this just solidifies it even more that out of the big three, you know, Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki, Tokoyami is just the best. He is the fourth best student. Yeah, I mean, has I mean, he I mean, always has been. The but huge like, four, is, if you would. This I mean... is like, just, <laughs> it's set in stone now. No one can debate it. He is just yeah. the fourth. Well, hey, I, hey, bro, hey. Rikita. We listen, bro. Listen, we can. I Who? mean, if you want to, you want to stir up some controversy, we can. I mean, like, Bakugo went up against the Demon Lord, he got cooked. I don't see that happening to you know, Toko. You're so right, dude. Honestly, I think he would probably kill Deku too, for being completely real. Mm, you know, Deku black, but is he really black though? Question Deku mark? just if Deku brings like a nightlight or something though it might be a bit tough. But. <laughs> nah, bro. All Togoyami has to do is throw his hood up and he's he's fine. He's cool. Things will work out. Um, but yeah, very good chapter. I remember Dark Shadows. I remember Dark Shadows' weakness is light. Nah, bro. He ate the darkness and the light. He's gonna be here for the end of time. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh I, one one last thing that I wanted to mention. Uh, when All for One launched that crazy ass attack, this motherfucker looks so much like a Black Clover villain. Like I couldn't help but just be like, he just looks like a like a demon character from Black Clover. Which I guess With, you know, like the wings and stuff. Yeah. Um, it just reminded me so much of that. I was just like, oh, this mm -hmm. is kind of trippy, but 
you know, it looked cool. <laughs> looked very cool. So shouts out to that, I guess. Y'all gotta wait for Bakugo to spin back. Yeah, he's he's gonna come back. Don't worry. We're we Dude, know. He's still yeah. on the ground coughing blood. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's gonna come back he's gonna fly his ass over to where Deku and Shigaraki are and he's gonna fight all for one or some shit or when he, whenever he shows up that's probably what's gonna happen um, not related but I've been waiting to say this but Sailor we both got our JJK covers me my Kashimo your Maki happy ending you know what I'm happy for you Cyber here shake my hand shake my hand right here through the, the monitor or whatever device you're watching this on shake my hand mm -hmm. Uh, but are you guys ready to move on to the next chapter? Yep. Well, hold on. I have one more thing. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Revelry in the dark. Okay, that's it. All right. <laughs> Uh, moving on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. One new piece, Ua, chapter 1076. One Fellas, how are we feeling about, feeling about this? Feeling? Feeling? Same I like the cover spread. It looks really pretty. It's, it's so good. good. It's good yeah. I like it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm I, sorry. Um... I thought someone was going to talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My bad. I, I... I like that uh, the Mihawk Seraphim has the Dice Dice Fruit. I think that's cool. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. That makes sense for him to have it. Mm -hmm. A nice little add in there. Um, I was going to say I love the fact that Kaku was, like, trying to cap. Like, he was just like, yeah, no, we'll, we'll definitely listen to you. And Luchi's like, we're not listening to you. He's like, fuck it. Shut up. Can you can you at least <laughs> pretend to lie? Like, God, man, leave me alone. I will say I like the unofficials more with what Luffy said to him. Because Luffy was like, all right, you, well, you guys have to listen to me because you can't beat me. Like, that's what he said <laughs> to the uh, unofficials. Right. But he was like, in the officials, he was just like, well, don't go after my friends because you can't beat me. It's like, oh, man, no, I, I want you to put him in their place. No, fuck him up. Beat him up. <laughs> no. Um, but overall, I, I, saw, I still liked it. I saw a lot of people uh, saying that the Mihawk there from having the dice dice fruit is underwhelming. Really? Because, yeah. I can see the, that. Specifically but... because it technically doesn't give him any new ability because he everything he can do with the Dice Dice Fruit, he can just do with a sword. And also, one of the uh, big appeals of the Dice Dice Fruit is that it turns your body into steel. Mm -hmm. But he's a uh, Lunarian, so he literally already has durability, so that doesn't matter. Huh. But... I... I feel like the uh, remedy yeah, with hockey, point. you know, because it's like I think um, I think it has some validity. I do think that's kind of true, but also yeah. I think people should go back and reread the Zoro versus Mister One fight and look at the stuff Mister One was doing because it's not just sword swipes. Like yeah. he turned his he turned his arms into like buzz saws. <laughs> like you can, can do, he can skate around with them too. <laughs> You yeah. can do so much more with a dice fruit than just giant flying slashes, which is all we see him do in this chapter. And even if even if you want to say that, like, think about this way. This, the kid Mihawk, he's a kid version of Mihawk, but he has all the genetic potential to be even stronger than Mihawk. People hate that. Uh, people, all the Mihawk fans are really upset because I, I think Mr. Morge made a video about it, about how, I mean, the Seraphim will just, if they keep growing and keep learning and getting stronger, they will eventually probably just get stronger than mm -hmm. the originals. I mean, the big, the big counter argument against that is that the Seraphims can't use hockey, but I don't think that's true. I think they will learn how to use hockey because one thing we've seen from the Seraphims and even the beginning of this arc starts with Lilith being like, oh man, it's so hard to control living beings. Like yeah. you can't manipulate them. <laughs> Like, the Seraphim have a will of their own. They literally, they showed up to the top of the uh, Labo phase. And Luchi and them were like, who the fuck gave them the order to come up here? And the, the Vegapunks were like, yeah, sometimes they will do stuff on their own if they think it it's, like, good. Like, if they believe something is will help their mission, they'll just do it without being told to do it. So, I think they can have hockey eventually if they keep growing and learning. So... For There's sure. a scene, my, my long-winded point is, <laughs> if you think about the scene where Mihawk cut the iceberg in half during Marineford, yeah. there's a scene with Mr. One where he cut a building in 10 with his fingers. This Mihawk could do that to the iceberg. 
Like, <laughs> if he keeps yeah. getting stronger. Yeah. Because the way I looked at it before, I was just like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's just more weapons that he can use. It's just more swords that he could use. In a way, like, uh, this motherfucker has four swords. No, five swords, style because he has, like, the copy of Yoru, and then he has his arms, his legs. Like, you can just slice with any of that shit, and he could catch you off guard with it. Doesn't matter if, you know, it's, you know, people think it's, I guess, a, a debuff, or it's, like, I guess, lame. Just the fact that he has more options to do damage to you is insane for someone who has the potential to be one of, if not the strongest swordsman in the world at some point. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't even think about all the other stuff because it's been so long since I've revisited like Dang. the start of One Piece. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I totally forgot about all the stuff that Daz Bones was doing. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, Mihawk Seraphim having both Lunarian and Mr. One DNA is just a debuff against the Minority Hunter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. That is true. No, no, That's no. The truth. <laughs> Put it this way. Genetically, the Mihawk Seraphim is genetically superior to the original Mihawk. All he needs is time yeah. to grow stronger. And they turned him into a sword. Yeah. They turned the world's strongest swordsman into a sword. So it's I like the bone of my sword. Yeah, he's gonna do some crazy shit. I do think I like this whole situation with Luffy and Luchi and all of them teaming up. I think it's a bit contrived because it's like I get it. They're they're like trying to protect them while also fight the Seraphim. And the Seraphim aren't weak. So it's like it is a bit tough. But also it's like I think Oda just wanted them to team up. Like I don't think they really had to do this. Like <laughs> I feel like if Luffy and Zoro really tried, they could have done that to the Seraphim without Luch Luchi and Taki's yeah. help. But it's I still a cool that. thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's probably accurate. I was but gonna it's still say... cool. So Oh, yeah, it is cool. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, like, I, the only reason I can really see it happening is just because uh, Luffy was saying, or no, Zoro was saying, like, oh, that scream was from Nami. Like, we're supposed to protect them and look out for everybody else. Like, we, like, how are we supposed to do that? So I'm regarding these guys. Yeah. Yeah. I could see it being a situation where maybe, because we all were thinking that Luchi and Kaku leave them. It might be a situation where Luffy and Zoro are like, all right, bye. We're going to go help our crew. And they leave them and they have to fight against them. Now, the only thing that's really kind of stopping me from thinking this way is just because the Mihawk Seraphim is right there. And, uh, earlier luffy with him punching kuma and you know apologizing to bonnie obviously earlier in the arc bonnie stopped him from punching uh pacifista that looked like kuma so maybe you know that little connection there might keep them there to fight but i could also see it just being like all right well we gotta go help out nami and you go here i'll go help out the rest of the crew see if they're okay and then they just leave mm-hmm um, let me keep looking through here. Well, actually, let me pull this up. I'm sorry. Um, also, they they um like they hit them with pretty powerful attacks, and I guarantee the Seraphim are just like okay. Yeah, like they're mm. they're probably completely unscathed. So that's pretty <laughs> insane. Just the durability of the Seraphim, they're tough. Yeah, um, man. I mean, I have to imagine that Mihawk Seraphim is especially going to be so because like in compounding, in the dice dice fruit, would steel body. E plus natural durability of the seraphim and then if you learn earns armament into the future like shit man mm -hmm. that guy's gonna be fucking un an unbreakable yeah. yeah well the kuma seraphim too because kuma is a special race that we don't even know yet we don't know what he like what he is so he might have he's not just lunarian he has other special dna too yeah so. plus if he has the clone of the fruit he can just take out here like you can just take away his pain like you can just send it into a ball and like send it at someone else at least i mm -hmm. imagine he can right like i don't think he wouldn't be able to he, um, he should be able to do everything that kuma can do because he yeah. has the same devil fruit yeah. and it's the seraphim we haven't seen yet there should be only three because i don't think there will be any seraphim of the post time skip warlords mm. so no law i People have theorized about it, but I don't think we'll have a Law Seraphim or a Weevil Seraphim. I think it'll just be the original seven. Um, so we still need Dolphamingo. And the Dolphamingo Seraphim will just have the String String Fruit. And the Moria Seraphim will just have the Shadow Fruit. But the interesting one is Crocodile. Because 
Crocodile had a Logia. He had the Sand Stand fruit. But Vegapunk talks about it early in the arc that Logias are extremely hard to recreate and he has never done it successfully. So the Crocodile Seraphim will have just a new original power. Oh. Most likely. I could just be wrong, but I, based yeah, on like, I mean, what Vegapunk said. And can we think, are there any other powers we can think of that would actually complement and the Seraphim of Crocodile? Oh, like me? Because, I mean, um, like, basically, they're, so far, all, of, all the Devil Fruit powers we've been seeing again, and all come from the people the Straw Hats defeated and are currently in Impel Down. So that's their source of Devil Fruit powers. So far. I definitely so think it'll be a power. As well. I definitely think it'll be a Devil Fruit we've seen before. I just, I haven't, I haven't really thought about it. I haven't, like, sat down and thought about, like, what would be a good Devil Fruit form. Hmm. It's gonna be the whack whack fruit, bro. It's gonna be Mr. Threes. <laughs> oh, I shit. Smoothie. You just fuck people dry. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would make sense. Like, <laughs> that would be pretty fitting for him. Man's is just like, yeah, smoothie ain't doing shit with this, so let's copy it and make <laughs> Give it better. It to someone who actually yeah. will. Yeah, and then right. The next part of the chapter, we see Vegapunk where he's captured. So. I don't know. I don't know who the traitor is because I don't think, like, we haven't really been given enough to even fucking be yeah. honest. These past two like, chapters have kind of sent everything for a loop. Yeah, it's like, it has to be a new original character, and it's like, we don't know enough about any of them to even guess. I, the best theory I've seen, and my personal favorite, is that the traitor is Punk, uh, punk Records itself. Mm -hmm. His essentially, it's a gigantic supercomputer. That's his brain. I like the idea that it has its own sentience and is maybe controlling the Seraphim or plotting against them. Like the, in the last chapter, we see the silhouette of someone destroying the cameras, but it's like, I've seen people theorize that that might just be one of the Seraphim because they were there. The Seraphim are in the building, like running around. So it could be them. Mm. Um, but other than that, I don't have any good theories about who the traitor could be. That's gonna the be... only, yeah, go ahead. It's going to be real fun because you say like, okay, if it's a new character, that means like, we're going to get a big reveal and then they reveal themselves and it's just like, who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it would just be really unsatisfying if it is just a completely new character because it's like, well, why were you hiding this? Like, I, yeah. I don't know who this well, is. Well, if we're going to talk about something even stupider, it could be Caribou because we have not seen that man at all. How the hell did he get here? Uh, the what straw hat's he, on him. Um, he's the, on the straw yeah, he's, ship. He's on the island, but I don't... I've seen people bring up Caribou, but 100% Caribou is not involved. Because how would Caribou reprogram the computers and, yeah. like, sabotage the lab system? Yeah. So it's like... He was a master character this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. but, the the only two people left, because every, everyone's been, like, going through a checklist trying to figure out, like, who would fit. Uh, the only two left are Punk Records and Edison. And it's like, why would Edison be the traitor? That would be such a weird fucking Which twist. Which one is Edison, Edison again? He's the small little robot. Oh, okay, okay. I don't like, know. Um, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I think that would be pretty underwhelming if he's the fucking traitor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, y'all know me. Death to all Vegapunks, baby! Yeah! <laughs> So uh, I'm fine with all of them just fucking off and dying. So it doesn't really matter if any of them are the traitor for me. As long as they die, go to hell, die. I am fine with that. It's, it's perfectly fine with me. Uh, the Morge theory of it being S Flamingo and the Seraphim in general would be fire. I haven't seen that video. Have any of you guys watched that video yet? I have. I saw I that video, but I didn't watch it. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't watch it yet. I've been slacking on Mr. Mark. I, I, I like the up. idea because it's basically, it's like, well, look, we've seen these Seraphim. That's not like confirmation they're the only ones here. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that is, that would be a cool subversion, I think. Okay. To just yeah. like, pretend that's... he's showing all the enemies, but not really. Like, that's cool. I would like that, actually. Yeah. That would, that would be interesting if the Seraphim are doing their own stuff i guess making their own decisions that would definitely yeah. set them up to be bigger threats because like i said then they could probably use hockey if that's for sure the case. and that would just go back to what you were saying earlier about how lilith was like man it's so hard to control living people or like living beings so that would mm -hmm. go back to that 
Um, also, the CP zero agent or the CP agents have been there for months, so it can't be Caribou. Good call. That's true, and also yeah. True. Um, yeah, I guess we could also move on to the next little bit of the chapter about the hundred ships coming from uh, what is it? G9? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I oh, wow. fucking love this, dude. Oh my, I this is such. Go ahead. This spit. is so cool by Oda. When Oda during jump festa and he gave his like you know end of the year address or whatever and he ended the speech off or his like thing off with like oh like so much stuff is gonna happen i would call it a battle royale i hope no one dies and we all read that and we were like what the fuck does that even mean like, <laughs> like, like what the what the fuck does that mean kobe bryant like what are you talking about like, <laughs> and what the it's fuck are you talking about and it's like um he was right like, yeah like, you man know, you give him credit like this yeah, is pretty man. this is actually turning into a battle royale because it's like you have i i love it so so much that the three captains at the end of wano when they were like all right we gotta go well like let's go our separate ways and they each picked a route there were three routes they could have picked no matter which one they picked they were fucked because <laughs> yeah. literally the three routes they picked one had blackbeard one had shanks and one was Egghead, which had all the Seraphim, Cypherpool agents, an Admiral now on the way, a Gorsei member on the way, and a hundred battleships. Keep in mind, uh, Buster Call, which is the most powerful military operation the, na the Navy will carry out, only uses 20 battleships. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That blew my mind when you reminded me of that. Yeah, yeah I was like, it's oh, 20 fuck. or 25, but um, there's a hundred on the way. Yeah, so this is and that's not even counting the battleships that are there with or going there with Kizaru. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we have an admiral on the way, the Seraphim, like I said, Cypherpool agents, which Luffy already beat. He already fought Luchi and beat yeah. him. But it's like Luffy. So essentially, Law is taking on a Yonko, Kid is taking on a Yonko, and Luffy's taking on the fucking world government. Essentially, yeah. he's like taking on everyone. God so, damn. This is an actual battle royale happening here. There's so much stuff happening, so many moving pieces. And I'm really happy because um, I brought this up. I forget who originally theorized it, but I brought it up on one of the older podcasts a couple months ago. The idea that a kid would run into Shanks mm -hmm. and that it would be really cool if they fought. Um, I'm so happy that's happening. I also love yeah. this scene with Shanks on Elbath. Um the parallel with like Luffy with the little kid who wants to yeah, join the crew, yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, seeing Dory and Broggy again—that's fun. I, I like that I blew my them. mind. I was like, yeah, "Holy that was fuck!" Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, I honestly thought they'd still be fucking fighting in the <laughs> island. Like, hey, I was not expecting them in, to bro. see them here again so soon. Yeah, well, this, so soon I say, but <laughs> this scene was really interesting to me because. I have never in my entire life being a One Piece fan, I've never felt intimidated by Shanks because Shanks is a good person. He's our friend. He's Luffy's ally. He wants to help. But I don't want Kid to die. Like, I don't want Kid to lose. Like, so when Shanks is like, you can tell him he has two options. He can fight me and die or leave and give me his stuff. I kind of, I was like, fuck. Like yeah. the kid's gonna fucking lose. Like, He's cooked. I, He's I mean, cooked. I do want. I mean, I do definitely want to see them fight a next chapter because, like, I mean, and because, like, it would finally give us a chance to actually see E Red Hair do something. You know, like, I mean, mm -hmm. you finally see what all the hype's been about. Because up till now, it's only been word of mouth. But if we can actually get an idea, or even just a glimpse of what he can really do. Who can even? It'll give us a way better idea about how things are going to go forward or the next fight when he comes face to face with Luffy again. Because, like, mm -hmm. he's not. Cause like he's now making his bid for the One Piece too. Like he's not gonna give up of the those Poneglyph rubbings just because Luffy asked him to. And not that Luffy would even ask him even in the begin with, because he knows how all things work with pirates. It's like they're going to clash over this. It mm -hmm. won't be to the death, but they will clash. Yeah, they'll definitely fight. Winner takes all. It's, Absolutely. Um, it's and it's crazy even more so because if you would have showed me this a while ago, I'd just be like, oh yeah, it's gonna get off screen. But, um, like, Law and Blackbeard is mostly getting off screen, but, like, we got to see some of that fight. Yeah, we got to. Because it, 
the chapter was a cliffhanger like they're gonna fight and then we we're all like yeah the, they'll skip over it then the next chapter opened with them fighting yeah was, that so was like, the trippiest shit possible. ever yeah it's entirely possible we just stick with this scene for a little bit and see like kid fight things but shank kids even more fucked because with like law versus blackbeard blackbeard's there so you know law's still gonna lose he's still fucked but blackbeard doesn't have like his entire fleet or like he has like a couple i think he has like two or three of the captains with him and like two battleships Shank has like multiple ships that are his like subordinate his fleet with him he has Elbath Giants and his entire crew. Kid <laughs> has just his crew. Which, keep in mind, they're not that good. I was about <laughs> to say, you may as well we, just said that nigga just has killer, to be honest. Yeah, to be fair, it's like we thought the same thing about Law's crew. I was about yeah, to no, say that. That's yeah. what I was about to say, too. Like, I mean, we thought those, I did pretty much all of Law's crew were just jobbers. But, like, we got uh, proved wrong about that, like, almost immediately. So, like, Law, they, they gotta be able to do something. <laughs> so it's like I, it's like kids still fucked either way. I definitely, I really, I hope we get to see Killer versus Ben Beckman. And well, I think that's what's gonna happen because the way it's set up is like, oh, kid, the last time we fought. Also, we got confirmation that uh, Shanks isn't the one that cut off his arm. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was Monster bad. the monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at those gigantic fucking. What are those grapes that they're eating? God damn. Uh, <laughs> It's on page 13 if anyone wants to see. But um yeah, let me look at this John real quick. I'm pretty sure because that's also when because Ben Beckman's like our enemy must be furious and Lucky Roo's like, what you know, who do you think he's mad at? I think that's him. so many people have brought it up already, but I think that's implying that Ben Beckman is the one that shot off kid's arm, I guess. Which is crazy, yeah. man. Cause like it'd be mm -hmm. different if it was a clean slice. Having your arm get mangled so bad, like it got shot off. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, Fuck. Also, you know what? That's some credit to kid. The only time Ben Beckman actually uses a gun for his actual purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's fair, wow. you know? It is, I will say to give credit to kid, because a lot of people theorize like it was Shanks the one that cut it off. And then we learned it wasn't Shanks. So that's like a that's a knock against Kid because he didn't even see Shanks the last time they yeah. fought. But it, he did lose his arm to the second best option, which is Ben Beckman. And Ben Beckman's a fucking monster. He's a beast. Like yeah. I, Ben Beckman's no. I think Ben Beckman is definitely the like uh, strongest right hand man, whatever you want to call them. Like King, Katakuri, Zoro, Marco, yeah. that group. Yeah. Ben Beckman's definitely the strongest. Zoro will definitely get stronger later, but for At right now moment, yeah yeah ben beckman's definitely a fucking monster so i think the way this is setting up kid's gonna lose he's gonna lose the poneglyphs but i think kid is going to not only see shanks this time he's gonna fight him and i think he's actually gonna get some good hits in i think that's yeah. the best that's the best victory kid can achieve <laughs> it's just to actually put up a fight it's the most you can do yeah um mm. i agree i think he's definitely gonna put up a decent fight especially with what we saw during his time with uh big mom and and wano of course mm. it wasn't just him who was fighting but like he was taking the brunt of those blows like he there was one attack where he literally he got punched in the face and slammed into a wall he was like all right bitch like he just looked back up at her like whoa <laughs> like whoa this guy's kind of different for real so yeah i think for sure he's gonna put up a good fight man dude uh he's he's in for a lot though because <laughs> it would be it would be a problem if it was just shanks here or like just shanks and his his like main crew but like taco listed he has so many allies here it is oh yeah yeah it literally has a paparazzi yeah <laughs> like outside the bar it's it's a little rough and this isn't shanks like just playing either this is shanks he is serious He's just like, yeah, you yeah, will, serious. yeah, you will fuck around and find out. That's pretty much is what he said to Kid. He's like, you can leave your shit and run, or you can just die. Those are the only <laughs> options I'm giving you. Like, oh man, god damn, god <laughs> damn, man. I talked about this before the podcast, but I want to bring it up again because I thought it was really funny. 
um, on Twitter. There's this guy named Gio. He's a like a One Piece Twitter guy. He he he's a Twitter he guy. So he, a, just, he, he says controversial shit. He's a funny reactions. individual. He's very <laughs> funny. He he is, yeah. Shout out to him. Uh, he. I was he posted. Nice about that. <laughs> he posted a tweet where it's just like kids bounty. He didn't say anything. All he said was kids <laughs> bounty at 23 and Shanks is bounty at 27. And Shanks is bounty at 27. We have we know it's confirmed. It was like a billion. And Sh uh, kids bounty is, right now is three billion. And people went fucking ballistic on <laughs> it. <laughs> Because it's literally Shanks is by far the second most dick righted, most just beloved character besides <laughs> Zoro. And Kid is one of the most disrespected, one of the most hated characters. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, it's just so funny seeing him like comparing them. But they are both red haired pirates without their arm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Lexton brought up Carol red hair thing. war on Elbaf. Yeah. But y'all remember when the theory was that kid with shanks's son what? yes I that was a theory that. yeah that, was a, that, that is my while. first time here's it. another wow. thing here's another thing Taylor. they're both from the west blue oh uh, well, okay they're both from the west blue they both have red hair they're both missing an arm so a lot, a lot of people thought like and because this was back the theory was back before wano happened so the idea was like because kid was going after shanks and people are like well why would kid want to kill shanks like what reason does he have and it's like oh it's like it's his father and he hates him or something dumb like that but obviously it's not true um so i was gonna bring this up this is the last thing i want to bring up go ahead Cook. uh so we've talked about this before uh the theory was for the longest time that albath is shanks's territory and shanks possesses the final road poneglyph that's no one knows where it is and it's hidden on Elbaf because originally it was on Fishman Island. It disappeared. Now no one knows where it is. Um, we just got the first half of that theory confirmed. Elbaf is Shanks' territory. He's here on Elbaf. Yes, sir. So if, if we want to run with the idea that Shanks has the final road poneglyph, that sets up that Luffy needs to defeat him to get it. We're going to get most likely get Luffy versus Shanks. And we've already talked about it. Most likely, Luffy and the crew will be coming to Elbath next after Egghead because they need to see Saul and yada yada. You know, it's yeah. been set up. Blackbeard, after he defeats Law, will have the other three road poneglyphs. I could be wrong. I forget which chapter it is, so I haven't gone back and looked at it, but. I believe when Law gives Kid the road, he gives them the Poneglyph rubbings at the end of Wano. I think he only gives Kid the Kaido one because the idea is like, oh, you helped us beat Kaido, so you can have this one. But I don't think he gave Kid the Big Mom and the Zo one. Mm -hmm. oh. So after Shanks beats Kid, he'll Shanks will still need the other two. Blackbeard will only need the one, and Luffy only needs one. So they all need to fight each other. Essentially, how do you guys think about the idea of... Because I've always thought about it. I've always thought that Luffy and the Straw Hats versus Blackbeard and his crew would be like Luffy's big final battle, and that would essentially be for the One Piece. That would be like all the, you know, what's the saying? For all the fucking peanuts, I don't know all the marbles that's the, all the marbles that's the <laughs> final battle whoever wins that becomes pirate king <clears throat> yeah. what if it actually ends up turning into a three-way war between three yonko on elba that would be fucking insane uh i remember you brought it up a few days ago uh, when we were just talking in discord um i didn't even think about this being a possibility but just the thought of seeing Luffy, Shanks, and Blackbeard, and they're fighting, and it's not like, okay, well, let's cut away to the rest of the world. Like, we're going to see that fight blows my mind. <laughs> and I really, I do hope that that's what happens. Um, if not, that's fine, too. But I do hope we do get a little 
uh, interaction between the three of them. Uh, I believe Zenith brought up when we were talking about it that it would be a situation where uh, Luffy and Blackbeard both get what they need and then their final confrontation would be on Laugh Tale or something like that. Uh, that would be really nice too, like after that triple threat. Um, do I think it'll happen? I think, honestly, with how Blackbeard's moving, yeah, why not? Because Blackbeard seems to be moving, um, like, he's he's moving more with the sense of urgency now. Uh, he's ready to win. He's exactly. Ready to just... Yeah, because we he's, saw that. He's prepared for two years. Exactly. That's all he did for two years. He built up his forces, got Devil Fruits, got all these things ready. Now he's doing it. Now he's yeah. moving. He's executing the stuff he needs to do. Because I was going to say, uh, during the intermissions in Wano, I was like, well, if the world government doesn't want it, we'll take it. Fuck it. And now he's going and he's... Uh, like fighting law and he's tracking down devil fruit users again and all that good stuff so blackbeard is on the move uh shanks is obviously on the move as well he's he's doing some big plays nowadays and Luffy oh yes yeah. always Nature's on the right. move what's up leaving oh. right it got the i forgot about this kid already has the big mom Poneglyph because he stole it he snuck into whole kick island and stole it oh he, he defeated yeah. one of the uh Sweet commanders. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah. Okay. I forgot but he'll, about that he still too, yeah. doesn't have the he still doesn't have the Zo one, so yeah. he still won't. Things won't have all of them. But um, I'm I'm conflicted about the idea because for one, I really want Luffy and Blackbeard to just be a one v one for sure. Yeah. Because I feel like uh, Luffy. You know, I would argue that Luffy versus Kaido and Luffy versus Katakuri are like, um, they're two really, really, really good fights. I love them. Um, but Luffy has had a lot of help. He always has had a lot of help. But like Cracker, it was a group fight. Dolphomingo, he had Law. Katakuri, he had Brulee. Kaido, that was a massive group effort. I would really like to see Luffy just 1v1 Blackbeard. You know, they fight. But on the other hand, I wouldn't complain if Shanks was there. Like, I think it would still <laughs> be really be cool. fucking cool. Yeah, like it would still be really fucking cool if it was the three of them all fighting. Um, another thing that I was thinking about is, I think it's actually kind of likely because not only does it just story-wise make sense that they would all naturally, they have to like they have to come together because Blackbeard and Luffy need if the theory is true they need Shanks as Poneglyph and Shanks wants their Poneglyph so they have to fight whether or not it's like oh Blackbeard and Shanks fight first and then you know Black Luffy fights Blackbeard later like whatever the sequence of events are they do need to come into conflict it's mm -hmm. inevitable it would kind of just Oda is very clearly he has reiterated multiple times that the series is ending we're in the final saga it would just kind of compartmentalize a lot of things just by having it all happen at once. It would just make it a lot uh, quicker, I guess. Because mm -hmm. now it's like, instead of having multiple arcs where these things happen, it's just like, oh yeah, Elbath. They they fight, and at the after Elbath, they go straight to Rathal. Yeah, like that's mm. like that's it. Like then we move into the final arc. Like that's. It would Rapid be fire quick and easy, I guess. Yeah. Not quick. I'm sure it'd be a long arc, but you know, it, it'd be quicker. It than would make it a lot. Be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me add to the whole battle royale thing, because why not? Why not just have Buggy there too? Then you have all four emperors. <laughs> just oh duking God! It out. Oh and God! Then the <laughs> Hell <up>. yeah, boy! <laughs> Actually, being dead serious, Jigga, I. Yes. kind of agree because yeah. i was talking to zenith about this um it would make sense if buggy because the theory has been for the longest time that blackbeard will kill shanks if blackbeard was ever this, this is built on a lot of theories so this is all bullshit but like let me just play it out <laughs> let, let him cook. cook yeah let me cook <laughs> if, if the theory that shanks has the final road poneglyph and the theory that blackbeard will probably kill shanks or defeat him whatever it'll be the downfall of shanks um, cause that's been set up for a long time. They have this rivalry. They hate each other. They, they fought before yada, yada. Um, it would make sense if Buggy's there for that Yeah. because Buggy and Shanks are brothers. I mean, and another thing I was bringing this up. 
when is Zoro gonna fight Mihawk? That's what I was gonna bring yeah, up. Yeah, that because mm. that is the big question. Because you might determines... as well, they're there. Well, he <laughs> they... determines a lot about like how the story goes. I like, think what happens in what order. Yeah, I think if like again, let's cook. If the <laughs> final battle, if the, if it's all the marbles, the Yonko, the four, it's but it's cross guild buggy. Luffy, Shanks, and Blackbeard. They all meet up on Elbath. Their final battle, I, you know, Buggy's not going to fight, but their big final <laughs> battle is on Elbath. Whoever wins that becomes Pirate King. It's not like, it's not like Kaido and Big Mom and Luffy and them at Wano where Kaido's like, whoever wins this is closer to becoming Pirate King. No, whoever wins that is the Pirate King. Just straight like, up they Pirate fucking King, yeah. Won. Yeah. It's, that's it. I think obviously luffy's gonna win yeah. i think it would make sense if zoro becomes the world's strongest swordsman before or around the same time luffy becomes the pirate king yeah and then mm. going into the final war against the world government it's pirate king and his right hand man the world's strongest swordsman yeah it that would might be pretty be, sick it it might be it might make the most sense that zoro fights mihawk on elbas now what what would cheer you like how would he fit into that i, don't I was know, just about to bring that up yeah it's really murky i don't know how it would all fit together but it it kind of would make sense if all these theories you know happen the most of it's not but if it did that zora would fight him on Elbath. it's now time to call in the straw hat grand fleet oh fuck <laughs> The Grand Fleet pulls up to Elbaf too. God damn, Elbaf is setting up to be the biggest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh, this shit to, happening. I just, I just wanted to hype everyone up. I obviously, like I said, most of this shit's probably not going to happen, but it's just some food for thought. And I think One Piece right now is so exciting because anything could happen. Exactly. We're in the final saga. Like shit's yeah. wrapping up. This feels like, uh, and uh, I got to scroll back up to see who said it. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Sleeping Danger said, like, Oda told us the truth for once. It kind of feels like that, where it's like, this is the first time where Oda has come out and said something at, like, Jump Fest and be like, yeah, we're in, like, the final saga now. And I believe it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. man, yeah, yeah. We'll so it. much shit is happening right now. And like you said, anything is possible. It's all of the possibilities that can happen, or like even the things that we haven't even been thinking about. All of this stuff is so interesting. And like you said, it's such a great time to be a One Piece fan. Um, oh, my gosh. I was just scrolling through uh, the comments again. Sleeping Danger again. Uh <laughs> fucking never mind kid is cooked next chapter comes out on shank's birthday oh god oh no joe arida oh, no. <laughs> joe arida <laughs> it's over oh and a fucking they've been advertising you can buy one piece film red uh so mm. you know now that them dvds may be going live i think they go live on like march 6th that's kind of close to when the chapter actually when does it's not obviously the same day but like Oh, yeah. So next chapter comes out on officially comes out on the 5th. The DVDs go live on the 6th. <laughs> so, uh, mm. Mm, kid, well, might get cooked. Known you, kid. kid might get cooked, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely oh, going to be interesting. Done. Yeah. Um, well, it's going to be a happy birthday for someone. Yeah, bro. He's about to get off screen. It's going to be crazy. Uh, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Twitter will be a very nice place. I'm sure they'll all be calling Kid very nice names and not slandering him at all. Uh, anyway, team, do you guys want to move on to the next chapter, or you guys want to talk more about this? Uh, I'm done. I think we've covered yeah, all the bases. I, with this oh one. yeah, uh, one thing we were talking about the Seraphim earlier and like how strong they could be eventually. Uh, one thing that kind of occurred to me is like the whole thing with Mihawk is. He's, like, the first example we see of, like, a black blade, which is, like, the height of swordsmanship with hockey, basically. Mm -hmm. He can make himself out of swords, so, like... And he's already I'm black. Like, I see where you're going. Not where I was... All right, you know what? I'm going to just be quiet. 
again, this is more of a debuff considering it's against Zoro, but... No, I can see what you're talking You think he's gonna do, like, full-body armament once he learns that? Not just, not, like, full-body, because then he would lose, but, like... <laughs> fair, very fair. But, like, you know, like, he can turn his arms into, like, black into, like, blades. Like, that, that would be really yeah, sick. That'd, that'd be, be really cool. cool. Yeah, shouts out. Absolutely, that'd mm -hmm. be pretty sick. Um, all right, team, you guys want to move on to the next one? Yes, sir. What? Next? Uh, all yeah. right, next up is Chainsaw Man, Chapter One Hundred and Twenty One. Fellas, how are we feeling about this one? Yay! I really like this chapter. More adventures. No surprise. Yeah, such a loser. Oh, oh, dude. Loser. Wacky fence cell adventures, but I actually like this chapter genuinely. Dude, yeah. I have so many theories. <laughs> like I I've... know. Go we ahead. bully Asuna a lot. Like, we're very mean to her. We, we call her a loser all the do. time. <laughs> I love God, her. dude, she's such a fucking loser. Like, I feel so bad for her. Because yeah. it's just like... It, oh, I, that, yeah, she just seems so funny. Yeah, she's mean, like, oh my gosh, she likes me. <laughs> oh my, yeah, oh my like gosh. Me. Yeah, but then we get that... But then we get all that, that self reflection we had at the end of the chapter, and it's just like, God, I just feel so guilty yeah, to be bagging so on her bad. for so long. It's like... I mean, she genuinely wants to be able to connect with people, and well, then she ends up getting kicked in the shins every single time she does. Like, it I never will, worked out for her. I her will say, um, just to get my feelings out of the way, just because, you know, I, I feel like everybody's more positive on this chapter than me, this chapter was just okay for me. And uh, I, I don't think it was very, I don't, I don't think it was very bad. I don't think it was bad at all. I just feel like despite the fact that so much happened, especially the last panel, we can get to it uh, whenever we get to it. But despite the fact that things happen, the plot move forward, all that good stuff, to me, it felt almost filler like because everything aside from the final chapter was just stuff I felt like we already knew. Like Yoshida is, oh, he's suspicious. What's he up to? I knew that. Asa is alone. I knew that. Denji wants to be Chainsaw Man because he wants to be loved. I knew that. Naita's a brat. I knew that. Then there's the last <laughs> page. You know, like, I I don't know. I mean, it's, it's definitely nice because a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about and uh, a lot of stuff we've brought up on this podcast as well is coming to fruition. And a lot of stuff that... Uh, you know we we've discussed is happening so definitely happy about that i'm looking forward to next chapter sad we're on break next week or i guess this week sorry i forget they come out on tuesday but um <laughs> i just felt like this chapter was fine that that's it overall uh like i said mm -hmm. not a bad chapter at all but i just wanted to get that out of the way before we i, I guess get the negativity out of the way before we're more positive <laughs> my, uh, my favorite part about the chapter is just like <laughs> you have a uh uh it's what's her name yoru right yoru yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah uh the the literal <laughs> embodiment of war like the the actual meme of i love war i love causing trouble and manipulating people <laughs> then she's met with like a teenage girl who just like just self-deprecates all the time it's just like well, shit, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> yeah, I love that translation where she was like, listen, Asa, you fucking suck, but me thinks you're a little too hard on yourself. Like, yeah. just the fact that she used <laughs> me thinks, like, I, I love like, maybe that. Maybe it down. Yeah, like, hey, maybe you should, like, dial it back a little bit. I don't, I don't know about that. God damn. That was really nice. I did like that. Yeah, I just think it's further setting up that Asa and Yoru will end up becoming friends and care about yeah. each other it, this is very it's not out of character but it is strange to see your kind of comfort her being mm -hmm. like hey it's not that bad like because <laughs> usually yoru would be the one that like almost laughs at her you know <laughs> yoru would be the yoru one just be like i don't care yeah Show yoru your just like i find chainsaw man that's tough exactly yeah I'd be like listen asa uh that's real tough and all but can we get back to the objective? <laughs> you know, like, sorry you're going through that, bud, but uh, we have things to do. So it was nice to see Yoru like, ah, ah, come on. You know, like, it's when you're mm -hmm. you're just, like, alone with the, someone and they just start bawling their eyes out. You don't know what to do. You're just like, ah, ah, come on. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you feel better. Ah, don't cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just very awkward and weird it's nice they're coming together slowly but surely it's it's very cute 
Um, the Aaron Yeager devil? Don't say that. The series will be bad then. Uh, Yoshi right. really told <laughs> Asa to stay away from her man. Yeah, man. Absolutely. So say the fuck away from my guy. I respect it. Yoshida ain't beating the villain or fruity allegations anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even know there were fruity allegations until this week on twitter it was great um looks like the theories about the part one parallels are still sticking katana after barf kiss now something happens after the possession kiss mm, yeah. i'm telling you it's the fake saw man arc we're doing that shit now we're doing it now okay yeah okay. Zenith, actually i want to ask you what are you what are you you're theories what are your opinions um, how are you feeling about so, this one nothing super concrete it is really interesting though that we right after asa says maybe i'd be better off dead we get someone falling from a high building almost yeah. like it's a suicide which is very interesting just framing of that scene mm -hmm. um it's really weird how at the end you have everyone looking down from the balcony not like worried or anything but like like they're almost in on it or something <laughs> like they, they're being real creepy like i said i don't have anything concrete but i think this is all tying together to the larger story and we're going to be start getting into like the big plot mm -hmm. i definitely think for the reasons i mentioned last week we're going to be getting into the the fake chainsaw man guy now i don't know how this ties to him though because like we just we don't even know what his mo is yeah um, but whatever devil is behind this apparently is the nastiest devil knight has ever smelled yes that i want to get into because that is like like what does that even mean i don't i feel like going into like taking that literally isn't the right call because obviously you can just think of something that smells bad and be like oh it's the fucking shit devil it's like, the poop no. saw man <laughs> devil right um <laughs> But we're at, we might actually be getting like a genuine confrontation here because Yoru is going to be using her powers, presumably. And we're going to be seeing Denji be Chainsaw Man. And they're presumably going to the same place to fight. So, mm -hmm. you know, that could be. That's that gonna be, be interesting. interesting. Which yeah. is so funny because that means Nayuta basically tried to get them apart and is gonna be pushing them together accidentally <laughs> through here. <laughs> nah, Nayuta's gonna be talking about your You're like that bitch stink. Kill her now. <laughs> the nastiest devil ever. It's that her. I smelled her. Yeah. I, sm I smell harlot. Take her I down. <laughs> Take her down now. Kill her now. Uh, it's the depression devil, basically. Yeah, uh, maybe it's the fucking suicide devil. The suicide know. devil. I mean, I, I think that's like the most apt prediction considering what happened beforehand with the dude falling to his death. Uh, death and devil, peer pressure uh... devil. I don't think it's peer pressure, but could be death devil. If it's the suicide devil, that would fit with Asa being like, oh, I should, it'd be better if I was yeah. just dead. If I was just dead, exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe the return of the darkness devil. Nah, I don't think so. I think the darkness devil will stay in hell. Um, it's Denji spinal going... cord sword finna pull up. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. continue. It's definitely going to be a big deal, like a bigger deal if there's a fucking, like what one of those devils in, like on mm. Earth. That's a much bigger deal than something like this yeah um, i think the suicide devil is probably the most apt like i said the most apt prediction that we have so far yeah, it's the only it's, thing it's i can really think of crazy. like yeah it's it's not gonna be some like super powerful though it's gonna be something more tangible for sure um mm -hmm. i i like the idea of the suicide devil i think that's that's cool for this well yeah uh well if we go with the part one parallels denji had a date with reese after katana arc so this art might this arc might set up another date with asa and yoru mm. yeah i mean i was trying to think of it like that because like i mean in the whole parallel between part one and enemies in part two who enemies so i mean i was trying to think like hey who could who we could be getting next after this because like let's see because like i'm trying to remember like what devil did we get and after the eternity devil it was like, uh it's man. katana man Okay, well, maybe it's not going to be Katana, man. I don't see how. He... I mean, yeah, no, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be. That's why I'm saying we're getting the whole like fake saw man, dude. 
next is because mm. it's like that's the most fitting. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. Could be him. Could be the suicide devil. Could be both. We don't fucking know anything. <laughs> We Return don't know. of the Snake Devil, it's back. Let's go. Akane is gonna come back. The goat. Bro, the goat. I, I not remember her name. That's wild. <laughs> it's my obscure. That's my one obscure Chainsaw Man knowledge bit. Just, yeah, I know Akane's name. Bro, Akane totally Sawatari. Later. Hell yeah. I did uh, actually did remember Sawatari. Never mind. Yeah, there you go. See, you're smart. Um, uh, this is what oh, there's another comment that was left, but then it just went away. Shouts out to whoever commented, though. Um, yeah, I <laughs> don't really Let's have much else to say with your chest out. Don't be deleting your messages. <laughs> yeah, Akane Akane is the girl with the uh snake the devil, snake the one devil. who killed Himino, the one who's yeah. heavy, eat it, or and then she sacrificed yeah. a fingernail with each one. Um, yeah, shouts out to her, she was cool, uh, for when she was there <laughs> she was she was cool i liked her she um, is dead by she, the way just want to clarify she, that she is she's dead exactly yeah coming back yeah i mean well makima used her so i mean like she might be like alive just a zombie that's true um, <laughs> yeah no the snake devil was like so no head and then made that happen yeah literally <laughs> uh eternity devil katana devil bomb international assassins gun devil control devil yeah naito yeah. is going to be the final boss again let's go uh only this time she's going to be fighting against romance no sex in this house get her out of here get yeah, her naito, out naito being the final villain of part two would actually be so ass like that would suck I would not um, like that at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we already got enough of that shit in part one. I'm like, she, hey, we need a break. Hey, the, hey, Eternity Devil, or Eternity Devil, Control Devil needs a break here. I think yeah. the most apt comparison, I guess, if we're doing parallels, would just be Yoshida. Just because he's just as mysterious as Makima is, at, yeah. at least at some points like in the story. I would like that a lot if we get yeah. some big reveal about him. That'd, that'd be sick. Yeah, for sure. Especially since he represents a another, I guess, a subsect of of a group or something that yeah. want to keep chainsaw man's group and identity or his identity uh a secret so that would be mm -hmm. something um but yeah i i think that is everything that i have to say about this chapter not much for me on this one <laughs> yeah yeah you guys ready to move on then yeah I yes do. sir uh, i suppose so yeah all right final chapter for this week black clover chapter 352 how are we feeling about this one team i mean not much to say hey with this yeah, one it was a good cool edge fight and it was cool i mean it was, it was cool as well it was the most oh, like, black I mean, clover chapter of black clover chapters <laughs> for sure um it was one of the <laughs> yeah i feel like this chapter i have even less to say about it just because I blinked and this shit was over. I was like, whoa, okay. Pretty <laughs> like, much, yeah. 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 This, I mean, like I said, like, I mean, by. It's cool. the only thing I can really Hell say yeah. is that Ryu's a fucking cool character. Like, I mean, it's cool yeah, seeing like, him in action as this commander. This yeah. Chapter shows had why everyone of, follows uh, This chapter had a bit of controversy behind it because of the eye power that he uses. Oh, with yeah. The, the comas. Um, oh. Because yeah. the whole thing, I think it's called a Magatama or something like that. I might yeah. Be All the yeah, no, I think you're right. Were just claiming that he ripped off the Sharing Dawn. And yeah, yada yada. It's like, the I symbol don't think that is, is from Japanese mythology. Like it just is. Um, and people and a lot of Black Clover fans are like, "Well, it's just from like Kishimoto didn't invent Japan." Come on, guy. Mm -hmm. uh, no. I think, yeah. The way I see it, I think it's very possible. It's inspired by Naruto because it's like using that symbol specifically oh, for an eye power that improves perception is like like that's specific. Um but like it's it's different enough where it's like it's inspiration. Who fucking cares? Yeah, I think people are just looking for shit to complain about if that's the it's, case. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I haven't been on Twitter nearly as much and hey, it's been good for me. <laughs> I've I've just been playing video games, but yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> I think, the whole um, thing is just silly because you have people like making threads. It's like all the times Black Clover copied Naruto, and then oh it's, my like, god, people shut making up. Threads. <laughs> well, it's it's a bunch of fucking losers because it's like you also have people like making threads of like reverse shit, and it's like I don't care about any Who of this. Who cares, bro? God oh damn. Oh my god, y'all are giving this way too much effort. God damn, bro. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Like, who, at the end of the day, who truly gives a fuck? <laughs> like, I, I I, don't see why anybody, like, if you if you like this chapter and people are like, like oh, yeah, it's just I'm copying great. Naruto. Why do you oh, care, God. bro? Why, like, it's, why? It doesn't make any sense. Like, even if it was, yep. like, just a direct comparison, inspiration, whatever, bro. And? Like, like... Right. All of these people who are angry and they're just like, ah, oh, but it's copying Naruto and ah, he's fucking the <laughs> plagiarist. Ah. What happens after I say, okay, cool? Like, like what, Man. what happens after that? Yeah. It's just, people are so annoying. <laughs> like at the end of the day, you, you don't even really give a shit. <laughs> like, like why? Like the people who are arguing for this whole thing, like they're just copying. Do you even give a fuck? Do you care? You're just right. doing this shit to make others upset and to just make a slander tweet, make a thread that gets four likes so you could say, man, this is doing numbers on Twitter. Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> God damn. You niggas are just habitually, just terminally online, man. Go Arr. outside. Holy fuck. God damn. You know what? You don't even have to go outside. Just turn your laptop off. Turn your phone off. Just fucking sit with your thoughts for a bit. Maybe then you'd realize none of this shit fucking matters. Shut up. <laughs> uh, just. You know what, Sailor? <sighs> Actually, after thinking about it, I think they're right. What? what? Bro, you're supposed to be on my right. side. Oh, you convinced me. <laughs> yeah, you convinced me, bro. I get you. You know? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. fair. I think he, he did copy Naruto. What? Wait, you what? Know, no, bro, you're on my <laughs> side. What the fuck? Why are you taking their side? This is supposed to be my yeah. hive mind, god This was a good chapter. I liked it a lot. I like I like Ryu, yeah. Ryu is a really cool character. He's one of my favorite, like, new, he's my favorite new character that's been introduced in. Bro, what uh, about Ichika? Yeah, no. Man, Bro, fuck what about her? <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck about that fucking. Don't even say that name around me. Bro, what, what do you mean she got the new volume? Are you all the way? You're not, you're I'm not kidding. Happy I, I don't hate her, but I don't really love her. I don't really either. care about her. Uh, Re yeah, Re she's, she's okay. Re mm -hmm. is honestly pretty awesome. I like the way I like, his, uh, uh, his power is depicted, like with it like swirling out. Like that It's cool. Who's oh, yeah. the, the iron guy? The, uh, the reason? His What's name his starts name? with Yosu like, uh, Yosuga or something why? like that. Yosuga. Yosuga. Yeah, he's cool. I like He's him cool. Too. I like him too. Yeah, don't let uh, Zoro see him though. That nigga's cooked. Um, right. But uh, yeah. I he's... like the one dude with the sound. I like sound you Jutsu sounds fucking sick, actually. I want to see what that mm -hmm. what that's able to do in the future. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I do want to see these guys fight more, and I, I hope they're relevant. They definitely the will. They'll, they'll yeah. come over because they were saying, like, uh, it was earlier in the arc where they were saying that if Lucius gets what he wants and he's going to take over the world, and that includes, obviously, the Land of the Sun, so they're going to come and fight for their country for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, it would be weird to introduce Yami's sister and then just not have them ever meet, like, <laughs> especially after what happened and what we learned recently. So, yeah, absolutely. They're going to make their way over and they're, we're going to see him fight again. Absolutely. Hopefully they do a bit better than they did against the dragon. But, you know, they, they serve their purpose. They help my yeah. boy grow. It was nice. I love the artwork in the final uh, spread of Asta yeah, slicing really all their the heads. Final page. Yeah, that was awesome. really it's fucking sick. Splitting the clouds, too. It looks cool. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, just overall, it was a good chapter, man. It was, it was a nice short one. It was a good one, though. Uh, are we on break for Black Clover? Or are we not? Uh, no, we are not. I think That's the only I was just actually checking, like, the only things we should be on break should be One Piece and Chainsaw Man this week. Yeah, that's actually surprising because again, this is a really short chapter. I know we get those before we go on break, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully Tabata is not like sick or anything because I know that happens a lot, unfortunately. So hopefully him and the rest of his family are all good. But overall, yeah. like I said, very good. Sleeping danger yep. spitting right now. I'm just glad the Ryu's that are better than the Spirit Guardians. The Spirit mm, Guardians are ass. The Spirit Guardians are kind of ass. 
<laughs> they are kind of ass. I ain't gonna lie. They they are oh kind of cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> they they are kind of cheeks. Yeah, the reusing are definitely way better. Maybe they'll teach them how to not be frauds. Those spirit guardians, spirit fraudians. Mm. Mm, type I mean, shit. I know everyone else hated the the fact that the one dude didn't die, but I didn't care though. I liked him. I did care. Was... I did care. Yeah, that well, shit was doggy dog. Hey hey, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean by that, huh? Bro, he confessed to Lolo Pichica. Is that her name? I forget. Lolo Pichica. Yeah, yeah you're right. Fucking shocked. You remembered it. That's a, it's a wild. Yeah, bro. That, yeah, was, a, that bro. was a cute scene. You didn't like that, bro? I like romance in my shonen. Come on now. The gushy, gushy water pussy brought him back to life. I respect Whoa. that, honestly. That's what happened, bro. What do you mean? I read the manga. Why y'all silent? Y'all agree with me? Uh, <laughs> I, I always agree with you, Sailor. You don't even have to ask. Oh, That's okay. Thank you. Bro, it's fucking I sunlocked. It. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I, you know, I appreciate y'all yeah. for no, 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 Thank man. you. Talk your talk, I guess. Right Thank around. you. Uh, <laughs> they were literally Gaja and friends. Absolutely. Yeah. Gaja should have got cooked. Uh, cause he he did get cooked, and then he just got brought back to life. <sighs> don't don't take me back. Yeah, bro, I, I don't want to think magic, about that. What was the line uh, Mimosa had? Uh, no, it was Noel. Noel. It, it was Noel. Yeah. We can uh, yeah. do whatever we want. That's what magic is. Reality like can that. be anything we want it or what the hell. God, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, don't take me. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm having heart palpitations. Context, I think that was something said by Eisen. <laughs> yeah. How did so Eisen get into this conversation? How did he get here? Dude, it's Eisen. <laughs> Because it's Black Clover. Black Clover's probably going to copy him next, bro. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is brought back around. I honestly forgot who the, spirits, who the Spirit Guardians were until I Googled them just now. Listen, we don't blame you <laughs> at all. We do not blame you at all. But uh, fucking before, good, we, before they take me back to that terrible conclusion to the Spade Kingdom arc, we need to end this now. I don't want to think about that anymore. Uh, uh, do you guys yeah, have anything yeah. else you want to talk about before we get out of here? Nah. I just wanna I wanna give a shout out to my boy Zena. Thank you. Yeah. 15k. Woo! Yeah. Very impressive work. Video dude. During Learned this it. whole fucking podcast, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want to give the uh, the people a sneak peek as to what it is? Uh it's about MHA. Lady Nagan episode went hard. Uh, yeah, I didn't it'll watch come out that. like oh, Monday yeah. Tuesday. So I haven't watched any anime in a minute, but you know dude, that's just because I wait for pretty sick yeah i just wait for zenith to explain it to me and then you know i just watch his stuff um that's how i experience everything I that's how i experience everything about it. yeah i experience everything through youtubers absolutely yeah and it's 100 percent accurate can't forget twitter uh we can uh anyway we're gonna be getting out of here <laughs> thank you so much for listening hopefully you enjoyed the podcast hopefully you come by next week all of that good stuff uh we won't have a full podcast but we'll still have a lot of stuff to talk about i'm sure a lot of things will happen you know uh mha jjk going crazy right now i'm sure the other ones will be just as insane but uh with all of that being said we bid you adieu what the fuck sleeping danger why you gotta slander me like this bro what the fuck even I'm, I'm doing the outro right now bro god damn let me have some peace bro anyway we're getting on out of here we love you goodbye Mwah! and good night